This is VGate iCar Pro 4.0. Thanks to VGate for sending me this over and we will check what it can do. It is simple OBD adapter, you can use it with number of different OBD2 apps. And recently I tested another of their adapters which was really good. So hopefully their cheaper adapter will not disappoint as well. The VGate iCar Pro works fine for iOS and also Android operating systems. So it doesn't matter which phone do you have, it will work with your system. To connect the adapter with your car, simply plug Plug it inside your OBD2 port and don't forget to turn on the ignition. First I will check adapter speed and ELM327 version with this app ELM scan adapter validator. Select iOS VLink, this is the name. Ok, I have test now, I had some connection issues, I couldn't pair it with my phone when I was connected to this car. So I had to use another car, pair it on another car and now I am back. But I think it was because of my mistake, because I didn't know that in pairing settings it will display both iOS link and Android link. And I kept choosing the iOS. I have Android, I didn't know you should choose between two of them. ELM version 2.3, so very good, meaning we also have sleep function. So you can have it connected at all times, it will not drain your battery. Speed ping is 46 milliseconds with the verdict of satisfactory. So for cheap adapter, a really good ELM version. And now we can try reading codes and live data if everything works. Usually I am using the car scanner app, but I want you guys to know another apps you can use. This one is very popular, the Torque app. I haven't used it in a while. Settings, first we need to pair the adapter. OBD to adapter settings. Choose Bluetooth device, Android V-Link. Okay, I think I am connected now. And already I got trouble codes. We have PO340 camshaft position sensor. We have code for oxygen sensor and for vehicle speed sensor. It is displaying 5 volts, although two of the codes are displayed twice. PO500 and PO135. I have two pending codes and then they are displayed again. So I think these are either permanent or historical faults. They are not current because current fault is displayed in red obviously. I think these are historical faults. Now we can also click on the code and choose web lookup which will tell us more. And this is actually pretty good information about the code. It will take you to the trouble code websites and you get fault explained also with diagrams and steps to fix this issue. Other than reading faults you can also use this app as GPS locator. Well not exactly as GPS locator but you can pull out your old drives and you can see where were you driving approximately at what speed. I don't want to show you guys exactly where I live so I will blur it out but, but this is one of my trips and you can see where you are driving and also the color represents the speed so red is for fast and green is for slow. You can also use your VGate adapter to display engine live data. In the Torque app I'm kind of missing the search bar, so you have to search manually. But at least it will show you in the green bar, these are the data available for your car. Now I am in garage, I don't want to start car. Not very healthy, but I can show you the graph on throttle position data. Press OK, start logging. And now if I press on the gas pedal, you should see some response on the graph. So press the pedal. Let it go, press again, let it go. So even though adapter is cheap with different apps like Torque or Car Scanner, you still can do data logging and display this engine data in graphic format. You can also record this data so you can go on test drive, record the data and then you review them if you understand them. If you don't understand them, I suggest you watch this video that explains all the basic engine data. Now I cannot find it in Torque app, but if we go to my favorite car scanner, connect with our VGate adapter, Android V-Link, this is it, connect. I couldn't connect. If you have this issue, what you need to do, go to the app that you used previously. So in this case, it is the Torque settings, OBD2 adapter settings, and I need to select some other adapter because I cannot have selected one adapter in two different apps, then one of them will not work. So I will set it to another adapter. Now let's try connecting again. See, and now connection is successful. So what I wanted to show you is the emission test. Maybe you can do it with Torque app, but I couldn't find it. In car scanner, it is right here, emission test. 
and it will display you the status of your readiness monitors so you will get an idea if you pass state emission check and also if the car is in good health this is not because i have a lot of red monitors and these most important ones misfire fuel system and components you don't want to see them in red so that means i have some issues with my car and then you can also use dashboard function this is done the best in the car scanner app now what i don't like about small adapters like this is that if you have tight space around obd2 port it can be hard to pull them out and i have to use tool to get it out so this was vgate icar pro for the cheap price i mean this very good adapter only thing i had trouble with was that initial connection but i already figured it out for you so just don't forget that you need to select if you use ios you need to select ios link if you use android you need to select android link otherwise it will not work but other than that everything works fine adapter speed is satisfactory and you got really new eln327 version which is not usual in adapters priced under $30. So I will put link to buy it in description and see you in the next review.